Hey y'all, Sarah Lee here, and we are back again with Telltale Games The Walking Dead, the final season. So, last episode, after doing some, like, interrogatings of Abel and some mercy killings of them, we headed out to the river where there was a boat that the raiders were keeping all of our captured teammates on. Uh, we saw Lewis being escorted across the boat and all that. And we've come up with a plan to kind of divert attention away from the boat so that we might sneak aboard. Uh, don't know which of the plans we're going with, but oh wait, no, yes I do. Uh, we are, uh, goodness, where are we doing? We are setting fire to some hay and we are stealing some supplies, trying to give Willy one win with that, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be our attempt to distract him and sneak onto the boat. We also ran into Minnie, one of the twins that Marlin gave to the raiders before. It seems she has been indoctrinated into their lifestyle, but she still seems to kind of have some loyalty to the Erickson crowd because she did give us kind of a heads up that they would be coming back in two weeks and you know your first option is just to uh you know surrender yourself and join with the raiders and it's like yeah no but thanks for the heads up and so we're going to attempt to rescue the people from the boat before they depart and all that and i'm assuming probably get the hell out of town i mean that's probably our best option right sucks because you know Erickson's a nice place and all that but I think our best option is just leave let's see what else um yeah she had a chance to give us over to Lily and she didn't and we found out that her twin sister was also dead but you know she hugged Violet she asked about 10 there's a chance we might be able to win her back I don't know she seemed sad when I told her she could come home that's where we're at So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Oh yeah, we're trying to get James. A hundred? A thousand? He's upset about... I don't oh no, no, no! Is it your uh, wound? Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Why is it so rumbly Here, today? Let's rest a second. Can we look at it? Seriously, though, the control has been super rumbly. Like, it was rumbly when Clem, Willy was having his moment with Mitch. I keep thinking. When Willy said all that stuff about Tim before, I got so mad. Mm-hmm. He was being mean. And Tim wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just... Let the anger pass. Think it. Just Don't do it. Stay focused. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. When I hurt somebody. I know it's hard, AJ. But thoughts like that, they go away. You just have to give it time. Yeah, it depends on the thought. Waiting's hard. It is. Especially when you're a kid. Too much. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Oh? Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. That it was. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. Correct. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? They haven't had to deal with it. We could teach them. They've been sheltered. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. <sighs> well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess, but Tin's mistakes are just so bad. I can say the same about you, kiddo. Them too, like we did. Yes. It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Troubled like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> Not okay. exactly. Um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. Oh, this is getting get complicated. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to get it off of me. 
Boy, we're so easy, kiddo. How do I get rid of? I don't you never get rid of it. You suck it in the mouth. You find help. It's really, really hard to do by yourself. A lot of people can't without some help. Like from a doctor? Sure, but those are rare these days. Or, or like the school, right? It was supposed to help with people's trauma. Yes. Yeah, it was. And now they help each other. I still like them. That's good. I like Tim the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. He's a sweetie. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. You're like a sister mom. I'm not. <laughs> Fine. He's my second first real friend. Oh, look, cart. Why do I hear crying? That definitely sounded like crying, right? Someone's still out here? No, he has to be around here. There's fire. James, just monsters. Is he coming up behind us? Yo. James? You're hurt. Were you attacked? Did the raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. Did you try to help? To do that, we need your help moving some walkers. Will you be okay with that? Maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. We have to get it. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, then let's go get it. Please, I just, I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. Fair enough. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll, I'll try. Okay, we'll do our best. Using only circle to stun will satisfy James' request. You get a stun! You get a stun! Who else wants some? Hey, bada bada. You get a stun. Let's see. How about you? Stun? Feeling great. Where are my other stuns at? Oh god. Nope. I, I got cocky. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I got cocky with the stuns. I know they get up too. I didn't even see where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh god. No, no, no. Not what I wanted. Dang it. Sorry, Clem. Sorry. I was too slow. <laughs> ah, dang. This isn't working out. I'm just trying to keep an eye on him so I can see where he's going. Okay. You get stunned. You get stunned. Keep an eye on them. Oh god! It doesn't work twice! It doesn't work twice! I can only stun them once? Really? Well, good to know. Stunned? Stun? No, I hit it! I hit the stun! That's bull. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, Clem. I don't mean for this to keep happening. <laughs> it's that, but it's like. 
I swear, I'm here and crying still. Okay. Circle, circle. Hurry the fuck up, James. Up on me. Hurry the hell up, James. Okay, good. I don't know how long I can keep this up. Did you find your mask? I can't find it. The horses must have. There. Oh, shit. We have to run. Hey, over here. Out of way, AJ. AJ. He's good. There are too many of them. All right, go for the bag. If we push it, the noise will draw them away. Okay, also good idea. <sighs> Teamwork. <sighs> Stun it. Satisfied? <laughs> AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. James knows you spared the walkers. I know it would have been easier to kill them. And what of? Your kind. I appreciate it. Really. Respect, buddy. Our relationship with James has changed, and it seems positive, so we're all good. Oh, we got pictures. Thank you for helping me get this back. Can I see the picture? Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. We want to use walkers to hide, to sneak on board their ship. That's insane. Yeah, kind of. It's our only chance. Gotta do what we gotta do, man. Are you in? I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James. Just let him we do his thing. Help, right? Yeah, we do. further is barn talk to James okay well we'll save that let's see what we got around here shall we Sure, we're going to find some nifty stuff around. Seems like a perfect spot for collectibles to be a hidden. And AJ's looking at rock. Salt lake. Oh, Salt Lake. <laughs> Where are the horses? Salt Lake. Please don't look it. Go. Oh, <laughs> yes, I remember this. It's actually good, like chips. Those are salty, right? Go ahead. Lick it if you <laughs> we did this with her before. <laughs> oh, gross. It tastes nasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. Oh, learning sucks. Sometimes. Hmm. Good memories. 
I'm not seeing anything lying around. Maybe over there. Oh, here we go. We got a toy! Of some kind. Radish bump. Beatnik. Ah, beatnik. Okay. <laughs> What's he even thinking for? It's one of Disco Broccoli shy talking friends. Oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> Okay, I think that's probably it then. Alright. What's up? What are we asking? My, people, my former people. They had a practice. They called it collecting. And that's a lot. <laughs> That would do. They use them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As people? Well, not people exactly. But what they once were? Something in between. Part of us is still in there. Deep you can't down, prove that. Sounds like hell. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Let's hear him out. Dead, not alive. Because all of those sounded a little hostile. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? I don't think I've let anyone. Clem's friend. Lee. He didn't turn. She shot him before he did. Yeah. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. It's cool, man. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone, they're harmless, innocent. If you want my help, I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. Okay. They are just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. We'll, we'll give it a shot, She'll AJ. Safe, I safe me if it gets bad. Louis would do it for us. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they Lewis do. would do it for us, right, bud? Lewis would do it for us. Yeah, I guess. He kind of puts his neck out even if he doesn't like it, so. Oh. That sounds a lot more grody when I have it than when you touch it. <laughs> the first rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Remember to breathe. We will. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent. But be gentle. And be quiet. Touch the wind chime. You'll see. Wouldn't that, you know, like, create noise, though? Touch the wind chimes. Better be okay, man. You breathe, girl, breathe. Okay, good for now. Yo, how's it hanging, my dudes? Yep, just another walker here. Hey, hey, hey. Was that a laugh?
Wait, was that like a legit? Everybody push. All right. Wind chime away. Okay, catch him. Like a good wind chime sesh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Clem seemed to enjoy it. Hey there, kiddo. <laughs> it's all right. I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? I don't know. One kind of. Seen them at peace. Any different? At all? I'm not certain. I think you might be right about there being something more to. I'm 99% sure I saw one laugh. Kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's. Thank you. Again, I'm glad. respect, bud. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Good question. Many. Ooh. But that was a long time ago. Did you kill innocent I've people? I've killed someone before, too. Aw. AJ. You've killed someone? Yep, little baby killed him. Yeah. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. You can relate to that, right, man? Well, that's good. I guess. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? Please. <laughs> I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. Dude. All of the death is Our human cost. lives less important. My friends have I'm names, sorry, you yours. Time, but I can't have more blood on my hands. So let me get this straight. If you really had to choose human life or walker life, which is more important? Walkers are peaceful. Humans my friends are alive not kind of or maybe alive They're trapped and they're afraid they need my help. I am sorry, man. This is rough on you. I can tell but you know I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless So you you're good those raiders are cruel They force others to be the same and if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. All right. It'll take some time to guide them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. You're awesome, James. Thanks, you whisper man. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. Sorry, man. I'm sure you'll collect some more. Um, when 
you said there might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Uh, I want to right? believe it. It's way one to hear. I want to believe it. Well, we can't know for sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Ten thinks it too, right? After we die. Oh, that sounds weird. But if you believe it, I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. I just want him to be the best little baby he can be. Looking at the time, I'm thinking that this will probably be where we end this episode. Because I know it's not quite 30 minutes, but it's it's pretty close. And I'm sure you know another single will probably drag on for a bit longer than I got. Alright, so thoughts and opinions on this episode. <laughs> uh could have done better initially with the whole, you know, avoiding the walkers thing, but I don't think I was figuring out exactly what they wanted me to do with that, because it seemed like it was more running away than just stunning them than anything else. So it worked out, kind of. Um, good to see James again. You know, he's another character that I really like, because he's a good guy. He is, like, a legitimate good person. <laughs> you know, there's no maybe, sort of, is there a darkness that lurks beneath or anything like that. Like, him and Ten and, I'd say, Ruby are probably, you know, all just, like, sincerely good-natured people. Ruby came off a little harsh at first, but that was quickly, you know, dispelled. So, yeah, it's just good to have good people around us. I'm not sure quite what to make of the walker scene. And stuff, because it seemed like they wanted the wind chime to be, you know, the defining moment for that. But really, I feel like the shove was it more than anything. Because one walker shoved us, and then another walker shoved the walker that, you know, initiated this shoving. And then it did a thing with its mouth that kind of looked like laughter. And that's the thing that stuck out to me much more than all the walkers just going and, like, wistfully looking up at the wind chime. Which, it was a pretty scene. It had very cool music and all that. I thought it was lovely, and Clem seemed to enjoy it, but, you know... I feel like the humanity was found other places in that scene. All that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Because it's, it's a complicated subject with the walkers. But I feel like this kind of falls in line with what I've been teaching AJ already, because we did respect the wishes of the train station walker couple, and you know, not kill them, but respecting who they were. I feel like most of my decisions for how to deal with, you know, people dying when it's in my control is to do what they want and all that. So the walker couple wanted to stay alive as walkers. Let them stay alive as walkers. Abel wanted himself dead and he wanted it, you know, a knife to the head. You know, simple as that. Anything. Don't think we've killed anyone else, have we? No, no, I don't think we've killed anyone else. I think that's mainly the ones that we've been respecting the wishes of. No, I just, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Because this can so easily just go south and we can lose everyone, which I'm sure it probably will. I'm sure it's probably just, you know, already scripted that way and everything. You gotta have all that tragedy or else it wouldn't be a great Walking Dead game, right? Ugh nervous still. But, you know, at least we have James on our side. I'm kind of curious more about his backstory. Was he, like, an actual character on the show or anything? Because we did have that, you know, with Jesus and A New Frontier. He was an actual character on the show. But, like, you know, because we saw when he went to get the mask all that, he had what looked like a photo of him and somebody else in that little zip lock baggie. So there's clearly some kind of past there, just what do we do with that information, you know? 
But uh, next episode, I'm assuming we're going to attempt our rescue. So until then, you know, like and subscribe if you guys want to. And thank you for watching.